We have a special visitor here on the Heinz Utica campus today, Mr. Dion Rhodes. Mr. Rhodes is on a mission to visit every HBCU in the country. He was greeted by Ms. Jean Green and started his tour at the Utica Institute Museum. Ms. Green explained different aspects and most importantly, the history of the Heinz Community College Utica campus. Mr. Rose tells me why he decided to visit every HBCU in the country. So that's, it was a long story, but it started with an article that said that black graduates of HBCUs were outperforming black graduates of PWIs in certain areas, um, and that sparked the interest. So I decided, let me figure out what that is. What's the magic of these schools that's creating uh, this atmosphere for this type of uh, growth, or this type of progression? Um, and it just kind of blossomed after the first school. He also went on to tell me his expectation on this visit to the Heinz Utica campus today. Well, uh, one thing about this school is the setting. So I don't know much about this area of the country. Um, and so what we look at at every school is how it interacts with the community, uh, what, it, you know, what it does for the community, where it's how it got started here, and uh, what it's continuing to do for that area. So I, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking around. And there's a lot of history here in Utica, Mississippi. So I'm looking forward to hearing it. Mr. Rowe continued his tour of the campus, seeing some of the iconic and new features to the Utica campus, such as the iconic bell tower that still stands, the cemetery, the Bobby G. Cooper Fine Arts Center, the Student Union, and even in the J.D. Board Gymnasium to get a glimpse inside the girls' basketball practice. It is always nice to see someone taking interest in the Utica campus and the history that is here. Mikhail Brown, for WHC News 7.